G'day guys, Greg here. Well today I've got my chef's hat on because I'm going to show you how to make that culinary masterpiece, mashed potatoes. Now mashed potatoes has been a part of my life ever since I was an embryo in my mother's womb because she used to eat it all the time and I'm sure that's why I still love it. So I'm going to show you how I like to make my mashed potatoes my way and I know you're going to love it so stay tuned. So for this, all you're going to need is some potatoes. Now some potatoes work better than others for mashing. This one here is a nice creamy one. Gives you a nice texture and oh yeah, I can't wait to... Ah! Some cream or milk, doesn't really matter. Although you don't even have to add it really. I just do because I love dairy. And of course, some butter. Oh yeah, I love this stuff. You'll also need a pot and something to mash this with. Now if you don't have a potato masher, you can always use a fork. <laughs> but doing it that way. Okay, so first thing I like to do is just cut the potatoes into sort of smallish bits because I find the smaller you cut the potatoes pieces into, the faster it boils and the faster it boils, the less electricity you're using and the less electricity you're using the more of the planet you're saving and the more of the pl planet you're saving the more potatoes they can grow it's win 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 now once you've done that we're just going to fill this up with some cold water i usually just fill it so it covers the potatoes like that now i'm going to crank this up to its highest level number five and i am going to add some salt to the water because i Love adding salt to the water because it really adds some extra flavor to the potatoes and it saves you from adding it later. Now I'm going to put the lid on because that'll make it boil faster as well, saving even more electricity or gas. And you'll know when it's boiling because it'll bubble over and spill all over the stove and that's when you can take the lid off or just reduce the heat. Now you might have noticed that I left the skin on my potatoes. Now it's up to you personally. I like leaving the skin on because one, it keeps the nutrition in the food and two, um, I'm lazy and three, I don't own a potato peeler. <laughs> now I could have just cut it off or something but I ain't got time for that. Now if you have kids you'll want to take the skin off because surely they will go this is terrible, I don't like it, no 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 Oh yeah, that's boiling nicely. And it's not overflowing yet, but I will just turn it down a notch because I don't need that much electricity running through these. Because if there's one thing I like to do, that's save electricity. Right, well it's been about 15 or 20 minutes, so... <coughs> so let's see how these potatoes are going. Now, you want to be able to stick a fork really easily into potatoes. Like that. See that? It's really just going through, it's melting away. Which means... They're done! Right, so lid back on, I'm going to whip it over here to the draining station and drain that water out. So now we just... Oh, 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 oh. oh we take that lid off and what I'm going to do is get some butter. I just use my uh, uh, masher and scoop out Big chunks of it. Yeah. And just start mashing. Scoop and mash. And you've got to mash pretty hard. It might take a little while, but you'll eventually get there. Now to me, that is absolutely perfect. I just love the look and the texture and the smell of that. Oh yeah. But if you don't want to use as much butter as I used, you can add some cream in there as well, just to creamy it right up. Oh yeah, because actually cream in this makes it taste really good. Oh yeah, have a look at this now. Okay, well I'll put some on a plate so it's easier to film. And just have a look at that beautiful, creamy, rich, delicious, buttery mashed potato. And I can't wait to tuck it on in. So, enough of me looking at it. Let's give it a go. Oh my god. 
Mm. I make the best mashed potatoes, bar nobody. I mean, seriously, if you don't like mashed potatoes, then you're stranger than I am. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And I'd also like to thank Simple Cooking Channel for my hat that he sent me. He's a top bloke, and if you haven't subscribed to his channel, make sure you do. I'll leave a link below. Anyway, guys, remember to thumb this video up or down if you don't like butter. Oh, who doesn't? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen Where the mashed potatoes that I make for you today Tasted so buttery and delicious, you're gonna love them And they're delicious Oh yeah Yeah, I my nips with the skin on